Hi, it's Matthew with EVGA. In today's how-to video, we're gonna discuss NVIDIA's SLI technology. We'll tell you all about what components you'll need, how to enable it, how to install it, and the benefits of the SLI technology. Before considering an SLI setup, you'll wanna make sure that your motherboard does support SLI. All of our EVGA motherboards do support SLI. However, some motherboard manufacturers may not. You wanna make sure to look for either this NVIDIA white seal here for the SLI. Sometimes it may be green as well. You'll also wanna consult maybe your motherboard manufacturer to make sure. Your EVGA motherboard will come with one of three bridge styles. This one is an NVIDIA SLI ribbon bridge. This is the most versatile bridge for doing a two-way SLI configuration. Please remember that motherboards come with SLI bridges. The cards will not come with an SLI bridge. The other bridge that may come with your motherboard if it does support three-way SLI is a three-way SLI bridge. An important thing to note about the three-way SLI bridge is that for two-way SLI, they also are supported. However, four-way SLI bridges do not support two-way SLI. On our Z97 classified here, the best lanes to use for SLI will be lanes one and lane four. These provide the fastest for the two-way SLI setup. Say you were gonna do a three-way SLI, you would use one, two, and four. Because of the spacing, this lane would become irrelevant. Now that we've determined slots one and four are the best for two-way SLI, we're gonna go ahead and install our GTX 960s. Now you'll notice on the GTX 960s that they do only have one of the SLI fingers here and here. That means that the cards are only capable of running in a two-way SLI configuration and not three-way or four-way. We're gonna take our super versatile ribbon bridge here, go ahead and install it right here on this finger and then on this finger. If you haven't previously installed the NVIDIA drivers, you can do so now. Once the NVIDIA drivers are installed, you wanna right-click on the desktop. What you're gonna do is open up the NVIDIA control panel. Once the control panel's open, you're gonna to go to Configure SLI Surround Physics. You'll see here, to enable SLI configuration, you wanna maximize 3D performance. Currently, we have SLI disabled. Once we hit Maximize 3D Performance, you're gonna see both cards, both GTX 960s are enabled for SLI. We're gonna go ahead and hit the Apply button your screen will flash, it'll apply changes. Now your cards are successfully running in SLI. While we have our 960 SLI all set up and we're running Unigen Valley, I wanna to talk to you about compatibility standards of SLI. When you're considering an SLI build, you wanna make sure you're gonna buy the same GPU for all two, three, or four SLI GPUs. Uh, for instance, we have the two 960s here, which are both the same GPU and the same video memory, which would be two gigs. You wouldn't want to run a 960 two gig and a 960 four gig, as that would not be compatible with SLI. However, two 960 four gigs would be. For instance, the 980 model, that only has a four gig variant. So you can run four 980s, all of which would have four gigs. They'd work flawlessly in four-way SLI. Thank you for watching another EVGA how-to video. Please subscribe to our Team EVGA channel as we do put out a video every week. Uh, if you're considering purchasing new cards for SLI and you have any questions, you could always reach our 24-7 support at 888-881-3842 or email us support at evga.com. Have a great week.